السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This lecture regarding the congenital anomalies or congenital abnormalities and I divide it into two parts first part general principles of teratology and uh, the environmental factors and second part including genetic factors and uh, diagnosis of or fetal diagnosis the objective or the objectives of this lecture are to firstly define the terms and identify the types of abnormalities and discuss the main factors that may cause anomalies starting with defining terms the term teratology teratology the science that studies the causes of abnormal development and it's called teratu from greek word teratos that means monster the principles of teratology it's firstly formulated by wilson in 1959 suspectability to teratogenes depends on genotype and its environmental interaction also susceptibility varies with development stage at time of exposure as I mentioned before, the most sensitive period is the embryonic period from 3rd to 8th week of gestation. Manifestation of abnormal development depends on dose and duration of exposure to teratogenes. And teratogenes acts in a specific way on developing cells and tissues to initiate abnormal embryogenesis. Also, manifestation of abnormal development may lead to death, malformations, gross retardation, or functional disorders. Those are the principles of teratology. The terms used in disease, sign, which means objective evidence of disease, symptom, subjective evidence of disease, Syndrome referred as a set of symptoms and signs which occur together in a morbid disease state. Etiology, study of cause of the disease. Regarding congenital anomalies, the causes may be either environmental or genetic. The incidence of congenital anomalies around Two to three percent of new pounds, and this percentage uh, increase to four to six percent by age five years. In four to two, sixty percent of all pair defects, the cause is still unknown. So the genetic or chromosomal causes around ten to fifteen percent. Environmental factors around 10%, multifactorial, both genetic or environmental, around 20 to 25% of all birth defects. The types of anomalies, including malformation. The malformation occurs during formation of structure. It may be complete malformation or partial absence of organ it's alteration of its normal configuration disruption is morphological alteration of structure after formation it may be due to destructive process for example vascular accident, uh, accident may lead to bowel atresia. deformations Deformation occurs due to mechanical forces that mold a part of fetus over a prolonged period of time. For example, cloth feet due to compression in amniotic cavity is often involved in musculoskeletal system and may be reversible postnatal. Syndromes are a group of anomalies occurred together with specific common etiology. Diagnosis made and risk of recurrence is known for example of syndrome charge 
the car referred to colobomas hard defect atresia of the quane retarded growth genital anomalies and ear anomalies another example of syndrome vactral in vactral syndrome we have vertebral anomalies anal anomalies cardiac anomalies tracheoesophageal anomalies and renal anomalies and limb anomalies Starting with the factors that may cause anomalies and in this lecture we discuss the environmental factors and the environmental factors including infectious agents, radiation, chemical agents, hormones, maternal disease, nutritional deficiencies and hypoxia. So starting with each factor and discuss the result of exposure to this Teratogens. Starting with infectious agent, the repella or germinal missiles may lead to malformation of the eye. It may lead to cataract if the exposure around the text week or microphthalm. Also may lead to malformation of the ear around the ninth week also may lead to congenital deafness due to destruction of cochlea. Also, it may lead to malformation of the heart during the 5th to 10th week of development, may lead to patent ductus arteriosus or arte uh, atrial septal defect or ventricular septal defect. The rubber itself also may be responsible for some brain abnormalities and mental retardation, also intrauterine growth retardation, myocardial damage, vascular abnormalities, all these due to exposure to rapula or German missiles. The incidence around 47 during first four weeks. And this percentage reduce if the exposure around six to eight weeks, around twenty two percent, and reduced to thirteen percent if exposure occurs during ninth to sixteen week. Moving to other infection agents, cytomegalovirus. Exposure to cytomegalovirus may lead to disease. It's often fatal early on. Malformation, for example, microcephaly, cerebral calcification, blindness due to chorioretinitis. Also, a form of jaundice called connectorus. Also, multiple pitch of skins also hepatospilinomegaly and mother in this case asymptomatic another infectious agent is a herpes simplex virus and this virus lead to intrauterine infection of the fetus occasionally occur usually infection is transmitted through uh, close to the time of delivery. The abnormalities are rare relatively including microcephaly, microphthalmus, retinal dysplasia, hepatosphilinomegaly and mental retardation. In this case the child usually infected by mother at pairs an inflammatory reaction during the first few weeks. Another infectious agent varicella or checking books and HIV varicella may lead to congenital uh, abnormalities or anomalies 20% of incidents follow infections in the first trimester or the first third of development so it leads to limb hypoplasia mental retardation and muscle atrophy while HIV or AIDS lead to microcephaly, growth retardation, and abnormal 
faces or facial expression. Continue infectious agent, toxoplasma, saparocyte, syphilis also may be lead to congenital deafness, mental retardation, and diffuse fibrosis organ, for example, lungs and liver. In general, most infectious are pyrogenic. So, the hyperthermia can be the teratogenic fever, hot tops, and sound. So, moving to our other environmental teratogens, which is radiation. And the effect of ionizing radiation well established and it's lead to microcephaly, skull defect, spina bifida, blindness, cleft plate or cleft palate and extremity defect. The direct effect of fetus or indirect effect on germ cells. So it may affecting succeeding generation, not the recent generation, but may affect next generation also. So avoid X-raying in pregnant ladies or pregnant women. Regarding radiation studies of the offspring Japanese women who are, were pregnant at time of atomic, atomic, atomic bomb explosion in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, around 28% of these pregnant lady, ladies aborted, 25% gave birth to children who did not survive their first year and 25 or 25 percent of surviving children have severe abnormalities regarding central nervous system including microcephaly and mental retardation so moving to other environmental factor which is chemical agents and drugs the role of chemical agents and drugs in production of anomalies is difficult to assess but most of studies are retrospective, replying on mother memory, but the large number, number of pharmaceutical drugs used by pregnant women. For example, NIH study, 900 drugs taken by pregnant women. The average of four women during pregnancy, only 20% 20, 20 of women use no drugs during pregnancy. Very few drugs have been positively, positively identified as being teratogenic. So, we're starting with teratogenic chemicals and drugs, which including thalidomide, which antinauseant and sleeping pill, which cause amelia or meromelia, total or partial absence of extremities also may lead to intestinal atresia and cardiac anomalies that is regarding thalidomide and here this is a case of unilateral amelia and here we have meromelia defect on limbs that the mothers took thalidomide also continue with the drugs amino aminoptrine antagonist to fol or folic acid it may cause an encephaly or meningocele or hydrocephalus or cleft lip and palate anticonvulsant to treat epilepsy for example here the diphenyl hydination may lead to craniofacial defect, neural and digital hypoplasia, cross abnormalities, mental deficiency. Also this pattern known as fetal hydration syndrome. The valvulic acid also may lead to neural tube defect, heart defect, craniofacial and limb anomalies. Trimethidine 
or trimethodon syndrome, it may lead to malformed ears, cleft palate, cardiac defect, urogenital abnormalities, and skeletal anomalies. Antipsychotic drugs also may lead to some abnormalities. Anti-anxiety drugs also may lead some abnormalities. Diazepam also may lead some anomalies, and all these agents are related to cleft lip and cleft palate anomalies. Anticoagulants, warfarin, for example, teratogenic. It may lead to hypoplasia of nasal cartridge or chondroplasia or central nervous system defect, including atrophy of otic nerves, optic nerves, and mental retardation. Antihypertensive agent may lead to gross dysfunction, renal dysfunction, and oligohydraminous. And severe result is a fatal, fetal death. Also, a lot of drugs may lead to specific abnormalities and anomalies. For example, here we have propylythoracine, uh, it may lead to goiter and mental retardation. Potassium iodide may lead to goiter and mental retardation. Streptomycin may lead to deafness. Sulfonamide may lead to. Uh, kind of jaundice called clinicterus. Also, tetracycline and amphetamines and quinine and spleen may lead potential harmful in large doses and responsible for oral clefts, cardiovascular anomalies, deafness and lip deformities. Continuous drugs Isotriptyline, it's analog to vitamin A, and this may lead to reduce abnormal uh, ear development, fatal nasal pitch, cleft palate, hydrocephaly, neural tube defect, and heart abnormality. So, avoid drugs during pregnancy. Disregarding medications, but recreational drugs also have an important role in forming anomalies. For example, BCB, which is called angle dust, is possible malformation of behavioral disturbances of the fetus. Cocaine, which leads to hypoxia. And it results in spontaneous abortion, gross retardation, microcephaly, behavior problem, urogenital anomalies, and gastroschiasis. Also, alcohol. And we have a general feature for alcohol, it's called fetal alcohol syndrome. That is due to alcohol consumption by maternal side. The features of fetal alcohol syndrome, including craniofacial abnormalities with short palpebral fissure, hypoplasia of the maxilla, limb deformities, altered joint mobility and position, cardiovascular defect, including ventricular septum abnormalities, mental retardation, and gross deficiency. So, avoid alcohol during pregnancy. And we are glad to be Muslims, so we don't use alcohol. And here is the features of fetal alcohol syndrome. Smoking also have a negative impact on pregnancy. Smoking does contribute to intrauterine gross retardation and premature delivery. But there is some evidence that cause behavioral disturbances. 
so avoid smoking or stop smoking also hormones may lead to some uh, abnormalities androgenic agents or exposure to androgenic agents that frequent use to prevent abortion may cause musculization of female genitalia diethyl uh, stilbestyrone is common use in early 1940s to 1950s to prevent abortion in 1979 determined as teratogen which has increased the incidence of vaginal and cervical cancer in women who had been exposed to these doses in utero in addition high percentage suffer from reproductive dysfunctions oral contraceptive also slow teratogenic potential for discontinuous if pregnancy is suspected cortisone it leads to cleft palate in experimental animal design research but not studied in human another environmental factor is maternal disease maternal disease for example diabetic mother had in high incidence of still birth, neonate death abnormality like infant congenital malformation around three to four times higher risk than normal pregnant lady it also may lead to cardiac skeletal and central nervous system anomalies also caudal dysgenesis even it's partial or complete hypoglycemic episode also is, uh, can be used uh, or can be classified as teratogenic also oral hypoglycemic agents may be teratogenic phenylketonuria also may lead to mental retardation and microcephaly this risk can be lowered by diet healthy diet hypoxia associated with malformation a great variety of experimental animal but not uh, examined in human but maybe small puppies are example of hypoxia in high altitude areas environmental chemical chemicals also considered as teratogen including leads and mercury the mercury may lead to multiple neurological symptoms and leads may lead to a portion or high percentage of a portion neurological disorders and gross retardation that is regarding environmental factors so how to prevent pears defects to prevent pears defects regarding environmental factors firstly good prenatal care iodine supplementation eliminate mental retardation and bone deformities and this prevent creatinine foliate or, or, or folic acid reduce the neural tube defects avoids of alcohol drugs and all in all stages of pregnancy and avoid of these teratogens reduce the incidence of pears defects so stay healthy and uh, health nutrition also share in reducing the pears and prevention of pears defect in summary environmental factors or environmental teratogens including many factors for example infectious agents like rubella virus cytomegalovirus herpes simplex virus varicella virus hiv toxoplasmas and syphilis these agents may lead to 
different variety of abnormalities. Rubella virus may lead to cataract, glaucoma, heart defect, deafness, and teeth problem. Cytomegalovirus may lead to microcephaly, blindness, mental retardation, and fetal death. Herb simplex virus may lead to microphthalmia, microcephaly, retinal dysplasia. Varicella virus may lead to limbs, hypoplasia, mental retardation, muscle atrophy. HIV may lead to gross retardation and microcephaly, toxoplasmosis or toxoplasma virus. Toxoplasma may lead to hydrocephalus, cerebral calcification and microphthalmia. Cephalus may lead to mental retardation and deafness. Physical agents like X-ray and hypersermia also may lead to uh, varieties of abnormalities. X-ray may lead to microcephaly, spina bifida, cleft palate, limbs defect. Hypersermia may lead to anencephaly, spina bifida, mental retardation, and facial defect. Chemical agents, even it's drugs or medications, may lead to large variety of abnormalities and anomalies. Thalidomide may lead to limb defect and heart malformation. Aminoptrine uh, may lead to anencephaly, hydrocephaly, cleft lip and blood. Phenytoin or phenytoin may lead to fetal hydination syndrome with facial defect, mental retardation. Valboric acid may lead to neurotube defect, heart, craniofacial and limb abnormalities or anomalies. Trimethidoin may lead to cleft palate, heart defect, urogenital and skeletal abnormalities. Lithium may lead to heart malformation. Amphetamines may lead to cleft lip and palate, heart defect. Warfarin may lead to chondroplasia and microcephaly. LCA inhibitors may lead to gross retardation and fetal death. Cocaine may lead to gross retardation, microcephaly, behavioral abnormalities, and gastroscites. Alcohol. Fetal alcohol syndrome, short papillary fissure, maxillary hypoplasia, heart defect, mental retardation. Azotriptyrin or vitamin A may lead to small abnormally shaped ear, mandibular hypoplasia, cleft palate, heart defect. Industrial solvent may lead to low pulse weight, craniofacial, and neural tube defects. Organic mercury may lead to neurological symptoms similar to those of cerebral palsy. Lead may lead to gross retardation and neurological disorders. Hormones like androgenic agents may lead to vascularization of female genitalia by the means of fused labia, clitoral hypertrophy, uh, which may be confused here as female but with similar male genitalia. DES or diethyl stilbsterone may lead to malformation of uterus, uterine tube and upper vagina, vaginal cancer and malformed testes. Finally, maternal diabetes may lead to a variety of malformation. The most common is heart and ural tube defects. Also, uh, increase fetal weight. This figure show a lot of varieties of abnormality. For any questions, please contact me on Telegram and drop your question. I'm going to answer you. Thank you and good luck.